leaves are falling. God's calling. I just love to hear like your full the story of Into the Kingdom. Like what was that inspired by and what was your experience of receiving that song? Where were you and how did it happen? <laughs> I was at um, David David Hoffmeister's Peace House in Cincinnati, Ohio, which has been my base um, on and off for years where I can spend some time in community and just really immerse with so many mighty companions and get so much support. And then I'm like, okay, you've learned so much now. Go out and extend what you've learned. And But this particular time at the Peace House was before um, a tour. And I had like three weeks, maybe even five weeks to be there. And it was a time when I felt I felt like I needed this time alone. But when I got there, it felt, it felt very, very lonely. And I was just kind of allowed to be in that. Um, it was a time for me to not seemingly have outside support so that I could actually go within. And I've, when I look back now, I see these times are so important that I, that I have to um, really, that I did develop my relationship with Jesus and spirit by having these times where I had to go within. And this was one of those times where the pain seemed intolerable. Um, and I think, um, yeah, Eric was downstairs with Laura a lot working on some music and I was just going through a lot of just fear of loss and pain of letting go of of seeming love and what what is love and how why does it hurt and you know I just had all this these questions of you know I think I had been through this letting go several times in this particular time I, I just was determined to kind of just see the source if, if love wasn't pain like why is this so painful and so I had a lot of time I had the whole upstairs and this particular room that I was in in the peace house has a mattress and box spring on the floor and the windows are very long and tall and so it was autumn and I where I come from there is no change of season and there I just couldn't believe what I was seeing I was just laying in the bed after probably a week or two of just praying and sadness and it's not budging and why aren't you here help me lord help me but i was really learning about, about prayer you know like i wasn't questioning i was just in the sadness and then i started to question i think the prayer turned and i was like all these leaves were falling from the trees but they felt like they were falling on my head because the windows were so tall and i was like low on the ground and they were like these mustard colored autumn leaves and I had never experienced autumn really and they were just falling like like and I think I just thought I was out it was like I was outside and they were falling on my head and I just went into this as I was praying I just went into this experience that it's almost like Jesus was there with me saying you know pain is not real and then I I don't I can't even explain how it happened. I just saw that pain was not real. Like it was a choice and I could choose in that moment. It wasn't personal. There was no people doing anything to me. I actually could choose to not believe in pain. And I did and and it happened. <laughs> like it was one of those moments where I saw there was no pain. That it didn't even exist. And um that it, then that thought came to my mind like oh my god I'm this is what the kingdom of heaven is like I'm going into the kingdom of heaven as I let go of the pain of the world that's what that means and um, yeah the song just started coming I popped up and got a notebook and a pen and just started writing down what I was hearing and that's when I was like this these aren't my words, but the chorus was my experience of the leaves and going into experiences, to experience that was, that there was no pain. It was the experience of what it feels like to, to move from the world and into the kingdom of heaven. I was just like, wow. I can't even tell you how the song came through at this point because it wasn't me. I got so excited and I, I could actually hear the parts that were for Eric and Laura, like the whole song came to me at once. And I ran downstairs to say, 
a song just came through and I even heard your parts. And, and then I, I kind of like went into this little shy place where, oh my God, they're going to hear these words. And I'm, I just got so like embarrassed and shameful, like, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all will be Like, I was like, who wrote that? I went back upstairs and I prayed and I was like, this is not my song. Yeah, I don't understand. And um, so I went down that night and shared it with them. And, and Eric likes, goes, I love the song. What is with that verse, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven? What is, where did that come from? And I was like, by then I was like, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't write it, Jesus did. <laughs> so, that's good. I think I was just learning that it wasn't me. Like I could see that the experience wasn't of me and the song wasn't of me, but that the kingdom of heaven is me. 